Ooh, that's the first one. <laughs> Never heard that before. Hi, guys. This is Susie here and LV Craft Shows. Welcome to our Sunday morning edition of our live virtual event series. We're super excited because this time, um, you guys can go ahead and share while I'll chat a little bit. This time we are featuring our presenters who are doing some presentations. So there will be somebody doing a cooking demonstration and, and some others. I don't even know what it is. It's, it's totally a surprise to me too, but we're super excited. This will be fun. So they all get a little extra time so they can show off what they're doing. And then we have the second round where you can see the finished product. So make sure you don't run away. And we have a ridiculous amount of giveaways today. So you do not want to miss that. There's six giveaways, I believe. So this is awesome. You have until Tuesday, 4 p.m. to enter. So first, our order of duty for you guys out there watching is like or send us a heart on that thing. All right. So click like or love. That's your first one. That way you have extra chances of uh, winning. And then the next one is you type in the feed, check out these fun demonstrations, then do that little at sign and then tag a friend. And you can do that multiple times, as many times as you want. Check out these fun demonstrations tag. All right, so that will be for your first giveaway. And I posted the giveaways earlier. Some of them are gift uh, gift cards where you can, um, you know, buy or get whatever you want. And then uh, we'll do some more uh, demonstrations later. I also have a special guest here with me. Um, I will probably bring him on a little bit later because he turned away from me for now. But you know what? Let's get this party started. Like I said, super excited. First up is April and... She has a pampered chef. So let's see what she's doing. I can't wait to see your demonstration. Here we go. And please go ahead, like us, share us, let everybody know we're on. Thank you. April, unmute yourself. Can you hear me, Susie? Hi. All right. Thanks for having us here this morning. So glad you could join us and I'll be making some breakfast for us today. And my name is April, I'm with Tampered Chef and all about making just mealtime easy, making mealtime quick and fun. So here is my information. Make sure you take a screenshot of this. That link there is going to show you all of the new spring items, but it's also gonna give all of our Aldi Craft Show viewers a special discount and that discount is going to be good until May 30th, May 30th. And here's how the discount works. Take a screenshot of this. Can you guys see that? Okay, so the more the merrier. Share the love, share the link, and let's get that discount up to 25%, okay? And throughout um, the demonstration, we'll be posting links as well to make sure you guys have access to that. Okay, so today I'm going to be making breakfast using our electric grill and griddle. This is one of our newest spring products. So let me tell you a little bit about what I've done ahead of time. I put together my pancake batter and our batter bowl, and I'm going to pour it right from here because it has a nice little pour spout and my measuring marks are right on the side of the bowl. So this is the only thing that I have to wash when I'm all done. So we're going to do pancakes on one side on the flat grill our griddle plate. I think you can see it nicely there in the camera. And then on the other side, we're gonna do scrambled eggs, okay? So we've got this open in the flat position. And if you're someone that is maybe not the best cook, then you're gonna love this because it comes with programmable settings. And all you have to do is turn the dial. And that's what I did already. Preheated, turn the dial, wait till the light gets to where it says griddle and it does all the work for you. It tells you the temperature, how long to go for, and it beats when it's ready. I think it already beats once. <laughs> Tell me, let's get going. So, all right. So I'm gonna hit the button there, and then now um, it's on a timer, and it's counting down backwards. So I have up to an hour to use this, but you can certainly set it however you like. And as you can see here, we have double the cooking surface, which is fantastic because you can do like we're doing today, pancakes on one side, eggs on the other. In our house, half of us are gluten-free, so usually we split it that way. 
we'll put like the regular pancake batter and then the gluten-free batter here. So let me go ahead and pour this on there and make sure you come back for round two because there's something special about this batter that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And it'll be an extra giveaway that we're doing. So I'm just pouring the pancakes right on here. Okay. And we got this going here. I don't know if you can hear the sizzle. I wish you could join me here, but you know, camera check, that's what we're traditionally about, cooking demos. And so if you want your own cooking demo, that's certainly a reason to get some friends together, some family together. And we could do a five day Facebook party and do a ton of cooking demos. Okay, so that is the go here. Next, we're gonna do our eggs. And this is our manual food processor. This is great for somebody who maybe has a small kitchen or they have little helpers in the kitchen and they're always asking, mom, mom, can I help out? Well, this is a great tool for them to use. And it's also great for camping. So I put my eggs in there, salt, pepper, a little bit of milk, and I'm just gonna whirl it around. And that's it. And now my eggs are ready to be poured. And this can go in the dishwasher. Because remember I said in the beginning, Camper Chef's about easy, quick, and fun. Everything goes inside the dishwasher. All right. So I'm going to pour this on the other side. So now we're going to have eggs and pancakes. And there's a little spout here. So I got to make sure it doesn't go down in the spout. And if it does, that's okay, because there's a little drip pan there that catches it. So what I'm using right now for the scrambled eggs is our mini mix and scoop scraper. And if you are uh, on the Facebook page, you'll notice that one of our scrapers is a part of the giveaways. So as Susie's sharing, make sure you comment, make sure you tag your friends, and you'll have a chance to win, of the win one of the scrapers too. All right. Yeah, my drip tray is filling up here. <laughs> okay, so speaking of the drip tray, it goes all the way the length of the griddle. The griddle also comes with um, a grill plate and the plates go right into the dishwasher. This is what, what the plates look like when it's not on there and it goes right into the dishwasher. So it's great because we use this all day long. They pop off real easily. And you can wash them by hand. Or you can put them in the dishwasher. Okay. Where is my flipper? Here it is. And we're, we're going to get the pancake flip. And I have to say, I love my griddle because I am not the best pancake flipper. <laughs> I can do a bunch of other things really well, but just not flipping pancakes. So I love that this has it at the right pancake temperature and it makes flipping pancakes so much easier. All right. So we've got our eggs and we're gonna get this going. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about the grill. So it cooks in three different positions. This is the flat and open position. You can close it. You can do it in a hover position. You can um, set it for steak. Paninis, you can make pizzas on here, grilled cheese. If you have somebody in your life that loves a medium rare steak, make sure you tag them on this video because it comes with a probe. And you can put the probe in, tell the griddle which temperature you want your steak at, and it'll take it to the temp, and once it's there, it turns off and it is perfect. So before the time is out, let me tell you how much the grill is. The grill, if you get it today through the special link, is $349, but you will get at least a 7.5% discount. But again, share that link. We can get the discount up to 25% off. If you're thinking about doing a show and hosting a show, in the month of June, you can get the grill for 60% off. So that brings the grill down to 139.60, okay? And I gotta get something to get these eggs off. Oh 
And if you host a show, you can do a Facebook show. You can be on there just like how we're here together today. We do a five-day Facebook event. You pop in, you say hi, comment on the post, or if that's just too much, we can do a 15-minute express show. And then lastly, my other special is in the month of May, you can get the Grill and Griddle for $129. It comes with other products too and a catalog, um, or multiple catalogs actually, and it's for a new consulting kit. So Pampered Chef has been around for 40 years. I've been doing Pampered Chef for, gosh, I started 19 years ago when I first moved here. And I didn't know how to cook. I didn't own anything in my kitchen. And I thought, oh gosh, that's a fun, flexible way to earn some money. And it's been so fun. It fit all the phases of my life. And if you're interested in more information, certainly I'll get it to you. And then let me just take the pancakes off. And look at this fun thing. This is a tortilla warmer. That's how you look it up in the catalog. But you can put rolls in here. You can put your pancakes in here. And it'll keep them warm. And it's also a great way to even reheat. Okay, so we're just putting the pancakes. If you're just joining and you're like, what is she doing? Where is she putting the pancakes? They're going right inside this tortilla warmer and they'll be ready. And I could do another batch. And so when everybody comes to the table, I just take it to the table and they're nice and warm. So let me just go ahead and put this up on the screen. So again, you can see my information. You're welcome to order through there and get your items at a discount today. Or if you'd like to have a five day Facebook party or a 15 minute express show and get the grill and griddle for 60% off. Plus June is double post rewards month. That would be awesome. Message me. And here is the tiered discount just for LV Craft Show viewers. The link to be a part of this special buying experience is going to be good until May 30th. And be sure to come back in round two so I can tell you what's so special about this pancake batter. Thanks, Susie. So be sure you post your information on the feed as well because it was a little hard to see. Um, so in case the screenshots don't work out, but that looked delicious. Now, um, would you please message me your address so I can come over and um, actually enjoy that delicious breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> so it, it sounds really like it's worth uh, doing a party in June with you to get this thing at pretty much half price or even less than that, right? Yes, it'll be 60% off That's in June. That is an amazing deal, you guys. So check it out um, and come back, stay or stick around because I want to know what that little secret is that she's still keeping from us. All right, great job, April. That was so cool. That was really, really cool. So if you're just joining us, today is a special edition. It is like no other um, because this time I think pretty much everybody is doing some sort of demonstration, not just a presentation of their products, but actually a demonstration of their products uh, or how to use them or how to make your own crafts and all that. So it is super, super exciting. Um, we started with the giveaway. Make sure to like this post and also type in, check out these fun demonstration demonstrations and then tag um, a friend. That was your first giveaway. And then we will do some more giveaways after the next uh, presentation. So with that said, let me move it on. Let me mute April here and let me move on to Cheryl and Mikey. Please unmute yourself. Hey, Hello. how's it going? It's Mike. And Cheryl. With Hendrix Studios. Oops. There we go. How's it going? And Potot. Yes, I got Potot. Potot's here right now. There we are. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're, if we're in a different room today, sorry. And Potot can't stay for the whole show. So we're running a laser today. So he can't stay. Mikey, All right. Time. Here's our sign. Please take a screenshot. And check out the new Etsy store, please. And Spotify. I'm sorry, the Etsy store is the same store. Yeah. Spotify is the new store. There's Spotify store. Okay. okay. Why don't you give a little chat about the laser and we're going to hide. Okay. I'm going to, uh, where is the button to switch the camera, Mikey? Mm. Yeah. 
No, you didn't, Heather. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, we were originally going to do a uh, demo on this guy here, but we're having problems with him because the Arduino, this little controller unit up here, is not talking to anybody right now, so it doesn't work. So the M2 will not be this week. Sorry, guys. So back up. We got something else to do. Um, we're going to run this laser, and today we are going to make a cutting board that says country kitchen. We can do engravings of any type. We can do, yeah, Mikey's way across the room, but we can do engravings of any type. Mike, get the dog on. Yeah. We had to get my, uh, the little, little dog out of the room. Yeah. Okay. And we use a program called Lightburn. And Lightburn is special for laser programs. And it tells, oops, I'm sorry. It tells the machine what to do. Here's light, Lightburn on the computer. It, it, there's a couple programs to run the uh, laser, but that's okay. This one is started and ready to go. Can't hardly zit, but there's our drawing. So we're going to start it. Now you have to have eye protection on, which is why Potok can't be here. And we can do this a couple different ways. We can etch on uh, or engrave on many different surfaces. Wood is not the only product. I can do, um, this is bamboo, because um, it's a cutting board, but I can uh, engrave on almost anything from cork to slate to uh, obviously wood, um, acrylic, metal, aluminum. That covers it, Mike? Uh, Hmm, that's the majority of the products that I can engrave on. Um, I just have to have an image. I can do photographs. Um, and the machine will run this until it is finished. This run, I can speed it up. Sometimes if I just want to go really fast and do it at a low speed, I can make it go like in less than a minute, but then the whole unit tends to move. We had to put these uh, little braces on because the, the orter, it, it, it will travel by itself. It does have a box it lives in um, because otherwise it gets the smoke everywhere in your house and your smoke alarms will go off. Um, this is a laser. You cannot leave it. It's a class four laser. Uh, you don't turn your back on it. You stay in the room. It will burn your house down if it gets stuck. So don't do that. Um, but when it's in its little box, the smoke is contained. It has its little um, exhaust system and all. And then also it has a, what we're using for our glasses for safety. It has protection um, as windows. It's a special laser welding, laser welding glass that you gotta have. Because this, it will make you go blind. This is why Potod is not here. No animals are here. Um, and everyone who is in the room has to have glasses on if it's not in its box. Um, so it's just gonna do this. Uh, nah, it hasn't done the fork yet. It hasn't done the circle yet. Oh, it hasn't right. done the ruffle yet. All right. Nah, yeah. it's got a ways to go. All right. Well, then that's probably. But this is what it does. Um, and it'll do this for a while. Now, earlier I did a solid one, which might be on the other side of the wall. Yeah. We're going to oh. move slowly. I try not to move too fast, but you know. Oh, there it is. This is the solid one I did, but it's not on bamboo. It's on a practice piece because, yeah, it is because, you know. Um, this took almost an hour to do this burn solid like this. Here on the back side is the version that we've got going because I have to do practice pieces, um, especially when it's a uh, finished item like a cutting board that we're doing over here. Um, this orter, this is an orter laser uh, machine. The lasers are by the same manufacturers. They all come from China. We have to change that in America, people. So anybody who wants to manufacture lasers out there in America, please do so. I will buy it from you. Um, even Glowforge uses Chinese lasers. 
So anyway, um, it's almost finished here. We just got uh, a ruffle left to do, and then we can turn it back to Susie and answer any questions y'all might have. And then we'll see you in the next round if that's not the case. It's almost finished. an overview so you can see what it's doing. Kind of hard with the glow, at least through my glasses, it's hard with the glow on the screen. I don't know what you're seeing clearly. Um, but we can do a variety of different objects. Uh, Mike's next project is he wants to do business cards. So he wants to do a couple of metal business cards and that's going to be probably my next project once I get those ordered in. Oh, barking dog, sorry. Um, should be almost done. Oh. And it's done. You can pull it out now. It's a, uh, I don't know, five sixteenths. It's more than a quarter inch cutting board and uh, it's just a little one, but that's what we can do. So I'm going to turn it back to you, Susie. Thank you so much. Now let me show my information one more time. You can just leave it right there, Mike. I'll come to you. And there's my information just one more time. We can personalize things. We can do company logos and we do corporate gifts also. So if you're thinking about corporate gifts this year, start early because I run out of time during the holidays. Okay, thanks. Thank okay, you. Susie. Take care. Be safe. That was so cool. So and then when the sign is done, you can stain it with different colors and stuff, right? Yes, absolutely. Stain, paint, or seal. In this case, I can take my lasers off. Sorry. Um, where am I? There I am. Sorry, I lost me. Oh, wait. I know the problem. So that 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 is really cool. Go. That is that totally cool. There you are. Yeah. Sorry about that. Got lost. I'm glad you showed that. So you can do custom signs, anything they want to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You can paint it. You can stain it. Um, if it's a cutting board like this, we'll seal it. Uh, so it's, you know, safe for food, but you don't want anything to get down in those little, it's burned, so it's etching down into the wood. So you got to make sure that that's safe. I like that. I totally like that. That is totally cool. And I know you probably will do, um, well, for our November show, we're doing some yeah. demonstrations. So I hope you'll bring something exciting like that. That is totally cool. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the second round. And I totally understand that Potat couldn't stay. Uh, we did hear some bird. You had quite some sound effects between the barking dog, the machine, and some chirping birds too. So, which is really cool. Welcome we, to our world. We, we have birds and dogs. So. <laughs> Well, yeah. and you might you might hear my background noise. I have a, a big dog huffing and puffing next to me. I'm gonna try and bring him <laughs> on the screen in a minute. All right, great job, you guys. This is totally. Yeah. Exciting. I really love seeing seeing all these uh, uh, different demonstrations because it gives you a really great idea on how to use it. And even at the show, usually we don't get to see that. So this is pretty cool, except November, we're gonna do some um, uh, seminars there and demos and make and takes and all kinds of stuff. So we're super excited about that. All right, with that said, um, let me take it over to our next guest. And um, he doesn't need any introduction. He just is himself. Go ahead, unmute yourself. Ho, 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 it's Santa. I'm live at the North Pole and we're doing something special for Father's Day. We are doing a daddy and me donut time. I think that's the best thing in the world. Of course, daddy would prefer to be a daddy me donut time brew and I can do that as well because I'm using my Tupperware brew coffee maker. Last night I made it here at the North Pole and this is the cylinder where I put my coffee in and then I'm able to take it out after it's done for about six to 10 hours and I take it and I put it on my little tray here and then I pour my coffee into my coffee mug so that's what santa does when mrs claus isn't around like today mrs claus is doing a demonstration and i'm going to now show you 
the demonstration she's done for us. So hopefully this will work and we're going to give it a show right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so happy to see you today. Santa and I have been busy up at the North Pole thinking of fun ways to celebrate Father's Day, and this is one way we found. We're going to have, we'd like to first say, Happy Father's Day to everyone and all, and we can celebrate with songs, poems, magic, and lots of fun stuff. And you know there's going to be a special drawing that a collaboration with our special friends at the Las Vegas Craft Show. So Santa's going to tell you all about it, so listen carefully. Now, let's begin. Happy Father's Day, one and all. We'll start with a little magic. You know, when people get together, they're very special. There's magic in the air. You can see it here, you can see it there. You might not be able to see it everywhere, but it's there. So reach out and grab some magic right with your special fist and shake them just a little bit get those magical atoms going and take it just like this. Shake it up high, shake it down low, shake it in a circle as best as you go. Shake it to the right, shake it to the left and clap, clap, clap. And grab some stardust from the sky and sprinkle it round and round. Wave your hand just like this, and let's see what we have found. Take a deep breath and blow, and let's see what's inside my hand. Oh. Oh. Wow. Did anyone else have one of these? No. Oh, my goodness. Well, what I'll do is put it right back where I found it. We don't want the elves find tripping over one of these. So we'll put it right back in our hand, just like this. Right down, just like this. And we're going to push it. Squeeze it really tight. Everybody go with me. One, two, three. And so, ah, oh, we go. One, two, three. Be gone. Oh, and we go. We'll have to find out next time. Now, I also brought my very special friend, Franklin the Mouse. Oh, Franklin, hello. He's a dog. Hi, Franklin. I heard you have a special song to sing. I do. And let's read that. Well, Father is a chorus, and Daddy, and yes, they have, may have lots of names, but they're all very, very special. Yes. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. So there we go. One, two. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're a little horse. <laughs> You're not a horse. You're a mouse. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Try again. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Try again. Just to warm your voice up. Okay. La 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 la. Okay. Try again. Me 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 me. Meow. Meow. You're not a cat. You're a mouse. La 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 la. <laughs> You're acting like a donkey. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. Okay. D A D D Y. What that spells? D A D D Y. I know what it spells. It spells Daddy. He's my favorite. And today we're celebrating his special day. Yes, I know. So D A D D Y. He taught me lots of things. D A D D Y. He even built me a, a swing. You like to sing? I like to sing really high. D A D D Y. That's Daddy. He teaches me so much. And one day I will grow tall just like him. I love him a bunch. Bye. 
subscribe. Bye, Mortimer. Bye-bye. Santa, tell them all about our friend that has a special, special prize. That's right. This one for Daddy. It goes good with donuts, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator. See you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> Well, that was Mrs. Claus and Franklin and Mortimer, and, and we are definitely doing something special for Dad. Dad loves to barbecue. We know all the dads love to barbecue. So we are working with our friends at Tupperware, just like we are with my coffee maker that, that I get with Tupperware, that was absolutely the best coffee in the world. Of course, you can put any coffee you want in it. You know, mo mostly I would like to put donut tea in there and it's very very good but it's a little clumpy so but we are giving away for everybody that signs up a chance to win these tupperware tongs these tongs are the best tongs in the world there there's a fork and there's a spatula type with a hole in it which really really makes it easy to work with a barbecue or anywhere if the if dad decides to, to work in the house. But the nice thing about this is that they come apart. So you can use them separately or together. And we're gonna be giving these away for everyone that signs up each week, they'll be eligible for a drawing of those tongues every week if you sign up. You need to go to Santa's website at santa01.com and go to virtual visit and then go to father's day visit and then you can book your event there i know it's about 30 days out but that's okay book it sooner the better because you'll also get an e-donut card which santa will show you later so I want to thank everybody at LV Craft Shows for having us live from the North Pole. And thank you, Susie, for having us as usual. And now I know the best person in the world that Susie's going to turn it over to. And I just want to say from our warehouse in, a, in the North Pole to my Las Vegas Tupperware warehouse, I love it so, so much. Ho, ho, ho. Daddy and me. Happy Father's Day. That is so cool. I love the donut idea. I know that the daddies out here like it too. I have here a special guest with me, but it's really hard to see. I'm going to change my screen in a second. Um, it, 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 Nancy was a little bit hard to hear. So um, if you kind of didn't hear it as well as I did, I just cranked up my volume and then it was fine. So just in case you guys had to do that. Um, but that is so cool. So here, let me share who is with me. This is my boy, Mac, and he decided to join me today. There you go. <laughs> so that is Mac, and he wanted to be part of the show today. That's all. I need to get back to work, boy. All right. <laughs> he is our special, special boy. All right. So cooking, donuts, you guys make me hungry and probably everybody else and my boy the look he just gave me when i said hungry he's like yeah i'm hungry too he's still next to me it's just hard to see on the screen green screen i'm turning it over to the next one to get us even more hungry because this is a cooking demonstration now by lynn so come on in hello everybody my name is lynn sudell and i'm your tupperware lady and I'm gonna come over here to the camera so I can hold up my information so you can see that first. So if you take a snapshot of my information, but you can really see what I have available at www.snagabowl.com. And that takes you right to my website. So you can place orders right there on the website. But what I wanted to show you this morning and I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. So I'm gonna make a cold brew. Santa Claus was talking about it. S Christmas and Santa are my favorite time of the year. I even named my son Nick 
after Santa Claus. So um, I'm going to make my coffee. I start with my glass. Now I could use my toasted almond syrup and just put it right into the glass like this. But here in Vegas, the sugar dries out in the tip. So it doesn't, um, you know, pour correctly. So I use our, our squeeze it and I just put a label on there so it, I can just turn it upside down and squeeze in how much syrup I want for my flavoring for my coffee. So I am going to finish off this coffee because I got a new batch to show. So I have my coffee, I put my cream in. Now I am making this for 50 cents. So instead of driving to a drive through espresso stand, I am making this right here. Oh, and my whipped cream is empty. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. So my coffee is ready. And I have a little bit more on the counter because I wanted to show you something special. So, but now I have my coffee made my way, not by having somebody else make it and then giving it to me and going, okay, here's your drink, give me $5, have a nice day. I can make it at home the way I want it. Less ice, no ice, more ice, whatever, and make it my way. So I'm gonna have, cheers to you guys. Yum. So this is our cold brew. And you're gonna pull out the filter and you're gonna just kind of drain it. This holds five cups of water. And so what I do is I put it into another Tupperware container. And you can use whatever Tupperware container you want or a pitcher or whatever you'd like. And then I can get my next batch started by just rinsing this out and starting a new batch. So I'm gonna set this in here like this and put these off to the back just to give me a little bit more room. But this one's one of my favorites. It was a, an exclusive item that you could get from Tupperware, but it's called our Clearly Elegant Pitcher and I love this one. So let me just make a little bit of room. But remember I was telling you about the squeeze-its and I'm seeing everybody make different dishes this morning. And this morning, April made the pancakes. Now we all have families, we all have kids, and we go to Costco when we buy this huge container and then we're gonna pour it onto our pancakes. The little kids wanna be able to squeeze and dump their, you know, syrup on their pancakes and they end up making a mess. So why not take and put the syrup in a squeeze it? It doesn't spill. I am squirting this all over. It doesn't spill anywhere until I squeeze it and then it comes out into the dish. So this is a lot better to have for your kids than having the big, huge container. Even husbands, you know, they spill, it drips all down the side, but here it stays nice and clean. So I wanna show you one more thing. And that is my choppers. I have a big chopper, I have a little chopper, that's the medium, and then I have the baby chopper. So in the baby chopper, I have garlic in here. I'm gonna just pull the string. How to set it down. This one broke. Good thing I know a Tupperware lady to get it fixed. So see how the top stayed right inside? So I gotta get that fixed. So let me just put a different top on and then we can pull the handle again. Okay, I just minced up all the garlic and I'm gonna put it in the big one because I'm making salsa. 
and I want to make sure that that stayed nice and fine. So I'm hoping that this will just pull nice and easy. I have it kind of full. But I'm making a salsa, a pico de gallo. So I'm pulling it like a lawnmower. If you can picture that, it's just like a lawnmower. So I'm going to pull this out. So you can see, oh, mm, that smells so good. But can you see the salsa already made, the pico de gallo? And it smells so fresh. Now I can make it thick. I can make it more smooth. There's all different kinds of things that I can do with that. So I'm going to set these right behind me because I'm going with a, a topic of what these choppers can do. And I'm going to wipe this off because the other one broke is I am making the egg salad. So I have eggs in here. I have pickles in here. I have the mayonnaise, um, salt and pepper. Everything is in the medium sized chopper. Pull the handle. And what it does, just shake it. Might need a little bit more mayonnaise in here. You can see it mixed everything up. So now I have my egg salad. I can put that on a sandwich but I am using that for a different recipe. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna chop up my radishes. I have my radishes in here. You saw how quick that just diced everything up. These will cut, each pull is 12 chops with a knife. So it's very, very easy to chop and get my consistency the way I want it. So that's for my radishes. So, and what I'm doing is another product is the pasta maker. While Santa was talking and Mrs. Claus, I was making my noodles. My noodles are already done. I'm gonna dump them into the bowl. 12 minutes in the microwave. I'm gonna put my radishes in. But I have a feeling I'm gonna need some more mayonnaise. So then I'm gonna take my eggs, my pickles, and I'm gonna blend this all together. And I just made a macaroni salad that quick. So let me see how this all turns out. Need just a little bit more mayonnaise. Sorry about that much. I don't like it watery or, you know, runny. I don't like runny potato salad or macaroni salad. Well, you know, it's Santa at the North Pole. And I got to tell you, if you could put that in a flash freeze container and send it to me at the North Pole, I'd have lunch. <laughs> so that would be wonderful because Mrs. Claus is in here right now and I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. Hungrier and by the time I ate breakfast, and by the time I did my show, and I saw the laser that blinded me, now I've got food for lunch. I'm I'm made in the shade. <laughs> Anything for Santa. So here is my potato or my macaroni salad. It's done. All I need to do is sprinkle on some um, paprika, and it's ready to go onto the table. So. If you have any questions on any of our products, I want you to get a hold of me. And here is my information. 
And let's see if you could see that. Or you can always send me a friend request on Facebook. I will have my contact information in the newsfeed of the live. So thank you, everybody. And I will have something else to show you in a little bit. I'll be there in about hour, an hour and a half or so. After this is over, I'll head over to your house. So here is the thing we have to do. We have to all meet in the same place next time and do this all in one place. And then we can eat each other's samples and enjoy them and share them with the viewers. Uh, this was great. This, this was really, really great. I, I, I totally agree with you, Susie, without a question. The only thing is, I think the next presenter would be a little tough to in, in, in endeavor with with a food abundancy, but but I could be wrong. There may be a place in a Tupperware bowl with with the cheese and the macaroni, and but but we'll have to check it out. Well, we can make it work. We can make it work. No, but I love macaroni salad. So, and I did not even realize how easy it is to make. I do have these choppers. Well, I have one of them. I have two coming. And um, they're even easier that, than when Lynn shows it. You know, she, she mentions the lawnmower. It's easier than that. It's, it's so amazing. I mean, I chopped an onion the other day and it was like three pulls and done. I mean, it's, it's incredible. But no, that looks really delicious. That coffee thing you showed looks delicious too. I don't drink coffee, but it looks delicious. And I know that all the coffee people love their coffee, their cold brew thing. So, so great job, you guys. Great job. We need to do some giveaways. And by the way, guys, stick around because they will come back and show us something, you know, part of the demonstration, the final dem demo to see what comes out of it and stuff. So make sure you stick around, plus the giveaways. So type in the feed, we love LV Craft Shows. That's easy. Type in the feed, we love LV Craft Shows. Then I wanted to remind you that this weekend on Saturday, let me move out of the way, we will be, oh, now you see my chair. We will be here at the Parkway Tavern in Henderson. There's two. We will be at the one next to Sunset, off of 95 and Sunset on Mark Street. Really easy to get to. We will be in the parking lot. Yes, it will be a little warmer, but everybody will be uh, under a tent. And it's a smaller event, so that way you, you guys don't have to be out for too long, but long enough to you know see the amazing crafts and gifts that will be there. And then you can finish it up uh, inside the Parkway Tavern. They have indoor and outdoor um, seating where you can have some delicious lunch and maybe a beer or a drink. It is kid friendly so please bring the whole family it's free addition a uh, free admission rather and um we do ask you though please to register uh, at lvcraftshows.com under the event for the tickets you don't have to bring them but uh, we'd like you to register so we can plan accordingly and also for uh, the required contact tracing as per the uh, state of nevada and city of henderson good so having said that, we have given away two things now, or we will be giving away two things. By the way, you have till four o'clock to do that on four o'clock Tuesday, that is to do that. Let me take it over now to our next presenter. And yes, she could be part of a live demo and, and she wouldn't cook food, but we all could sit down and do what she's doing best. So here we go. Come on in, Teresa. Hello. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest eating this. <laughs> Although some people do bite their nails, so they do technically eat it. But it is a good deterrent for not biting your nails because I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste very good. Hi, everybody. I'm Teresa, and I am with Magic Manny's. Um, I sell Color Street Pure 100% nail polish strips that go on completely dry. I'm going to do something a little bit different today since we're doing demonstrations. Um, I do not have pretty nails. I mean, look, my nails are not pretty when they're naked. Like most people look better with clothes on. My nails look better with polish on. And I'm going to show you a little hack that I learned because I have a nail that is broken. It's just got a little tear in it. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm going to show you how to repair that. And then I'm going to show you how to take the polish off. And then I'm going to show you how to put it on. Then when we come back, I uh, have some other things to show you. 
I'm going to aim this down to my hands. See my hands? I don't know if you can see, but this, you can see that this nail has got a little tear in it. it. So I learned this hack and it works really well. This is a little piece of a coffee filter that I'm going to glue onto this little tear in my nail because I don't want to lose this whole nail. If I cut this off, if you can see this, if I see this little tear right there, if I cut that off, it's, I mean, the nail's going to be below my, my skin and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put this Gorilla Glue, safe for nails, not for hair. Sorry, I had to just throw that in. I'm going to put it on and then for strength, I'm going to put this piece of coffee filter. You can use tea bags. A lot of people use tea bags. I'm just going to just put that on there. Of course, I get it all over me. I'm going to press it down. And we're going to let that dry while I show you some other stuff. The tea bag creates like a, I don't know if you guys remember, but years ago they used to do nail wraps where they used to put this fiber tissue stuff on your nail to give it strength. So this is just going to help the glue be one solid um, piece. So it's going to do that. So we're going to let that dry. Now, look on my other hand here. I have a glitter nail polish. Our polish stays on so long that sometimes it's hard to get off. Well, it's not really hard to get off. It just takes a little longer than normal to get off. So I'm going to show you how I take it off. We take a little cotton ball. We tear it in half because you don't need um, a whole lot. And I have this little pump thing to soak up the polish and we're going to put it on and we use these little clips. You can only do one hand at a time with the clips obviously because you can't do anything when you have them on. So that just stays on there for maybe, I don't know, three or four minutes. I always recommend non-acetone nail polish remover so that it doesn't damage your your skin around your nails. You don't want dry cuticles. So while that's soaking, I'm going to show you, get one of these little rubber cuticle sticks to push back your cuticles before you put polish on. It makes it your nails look nicer, healthier, and you just use this little thing to push them back. And you always want to use a good cuticle oil. You can use any kind of oil, essential oils. Um, they make special cuticle oil. You can use coconut oil, whatever you want to use to nourish your nails. But the main thing to remember is you want to nourish your nails below the nail. The growth of the nail starts before it actually comes out. You can't moisturize your nails themselves once they have grown out. They're dead, just like hair. Um, so you want to moisturize and take care of your nails below the nail line before they grow out. So I'm going to just rub this here for a minute like this. And look at that. It all comes off that easy. And then I just go over it again. With it. How's that? Okay, so now I'm going to show you our nail strips. They come in a package like this. Inside the package is a strip of nails, two, two strips of nails, eight, eight different sizes. So you tear them out of the package and then you have two. Also comes with an alcohol prep pad to wipe off any oils that might be on your nails because these have to stick to your nails. So if you have oil on your nails from your hands, then it's not going to stick. And it comes with a nail file. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is dry now. Sometimes it leaves a little glitter remnants, but that's all right. 
So you find the size that looks, that fits the best here now. I'm gonna put the white one. This is our part of our Americana collection. This is a color called American Dream. And I'm gonna show you all of the Americana collection when we come back. So here's a procedure. You take this little clear thing off. It's a clear protective covering. You put it aside. A little trick to that is have a, a um, lint roller next to you to stick those on so that they don't fly around everywhere because they are real staticky. So then you separate this, this little foil tab and you pull it apart. This is just a little bit tacky. There's no adhesive on it. It's 100% pure nail polish. You tear off that little silver tab. And all you do is lay it right above your cuticle. You don't want it to overlap your cuticle. So right above it like that, press it down and smooth it. And then you use your thumb to tear off the end. If you have a short enough, I can't do this one yet because I'm going to do this on this side. So I'll use another strip, but this will go on here after I file this down. So you'll see there's a little bit excess right there. All you do is take your thumb or you can take your little rubber cuticle stick, press that down, use your thumb to remove any excess. And it's all done. It still needs to be filed. I like to wait a little while before filing just to make sure that it's dry. It takes about 30 minutes for every for the adhesive part to dry. So you don't want to put lotion on or um, wash your hands or get them in water for at least 30 minutes after you put them on. So let me put on another pretty colored one. So again, plastic. Separate the silver. I don't have a thumbnail on this hand. You just peel it off. Lay it right above your cuticle. You can stretch it a little bit if you need to. Smooth it down. Perforate it with your thumb and tear off the excess. Thumb, always do your thumbs last. You just use your thumb to peel off the excess. It's completely done. This one I'm going to. You can use this if you want to smooth it down. And it's done. How cool is that? How easy, right? So let's concentrate now over on this one. See this glue starting to dry. There's a little lift right here that I'm going to use cuticle scissors to cut off. Then you can take a buffer like this and buff that. You can buff it till it's smooth. So now it's smooth, it's a little bit rough, but you can take your nail strip then.
Smooth it down. Peel it off. And you can't even tell that that nail was repaired. Smooth. There's no, it's not going to catch on anything now. It's all smooth. Glitters hide a multiple of sins. If you have ugly nails, look at the difference between this nail and this nail. It is so cool. This whole set, all of these strips in this package is $13. There's enough in here to do both hands and my toes because I use the biggest, look how big this biggest strip is. It's bigger than my thumb. So I use this one on my toes, this one on my thumb, and then you can mix any combination of designs that you want. You can use solids, you can use glitters. Some of them are solid glitters. This is a full, you know, glitter all the way across. There's another one. They're just so fun. So I will do the rest of my nails. Whoops. Where to go, where to go? Ah. I lost me. That's a really cute picture. Where'd I go? I have no idea. You need to click on uh, <laughs> I'm gonna join it again. on an arrow on the bottom and then click choose virtual background. While Teresa is trying to find herself, I'll do another giveaway. <laughs> I don't know where it went. All right, she's going to find herself. I'll do a giveaway. So type in the feed, hello presenters. Hello presenters. That will be the entry number three for your giveaways coming up. I posted pictures earlier. I'm back. All right. Hello <laughs> presenters. I'm going back to Teresa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to turn it back up and my finger hit something. I don't know what I hit. Oh, well. Ah, jeez. Nothing's going right today. Anyway, I am back. So I'll do the rest of my nails and then come back and show you. But in the meantime, here is my information. So take a screenshot of that. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever think that I would be able to do a complete manicure in five minutes and completely dry. You can touch it. You can cover up mistakes. It's just, it's just so incredibly easy and fun because you just feel good when your nails are done. So that's all I have right now. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to show you our whole Americana line of red, white, and blue and all kinds of fun stuff. And then I'll also show you the giveaway that I'm gonna give away. So we'll see you back here in a little bit. All right, thank you, Teresa. Those, those look really cool. And she makes it look so easy and it is actually easy. It may take a little practice <laughs> to get started, but then it gets easier. So uh, looking forward to the second round, great job. Good, so we entered three giveaways already. I also wanted to remind you guys, not only this coming Saturday from 10 to three at the Henderson Craft and Gift Bazaar at Parkway Tavern uh, in the parking lot there, June 11th through the 13th. So let me explain that show a little bit. It's going to be at the Expo at World Market Center, Las Vegas. If you remember, we had those pavilions down there, those tents, and there was some shows there for a few years after Cashman closed. And um, now we are in the expo and we're actually the first open consumer show. Before that, they had one buyer show. So we're super excited. It's a big hall. We are combining this with the Home Improvement and Backyard Expo, who will be featuring those tiny homes. I'm so excited. Those are going to be so cool to watch. We will have our side with crafts, all original crafts. And yes, you will find Color Street and Sensi, but not on our side. They will actually be on the home show side. So be sure that you go over there to see them. Um, so if you're looking for home improvement ideas or needs, backyard ideas and needs, especially now with the summer in full swing, 
and uh, of course, amazing selection of original crafts. And here comes the kicker. We have a lot of brand new vendors there with brand new products. So it, this is a show like no other. There is a $5 admission fee. However, if you go on our website or on our event page, you can get them free while supplies last. Those are limited. So be sure you register, print them and bring them there um, or bring the flyer for a two for one entry or the um, the RJ ad that we'll be posting starting a couple of weeks prior or so. We advertise this event like crazy. We're super, super excited. Um, it's a big hall that will be roughly around 100 vendors or so combined, which is really cool, you know, for a summer show. So we're excited. We hope you join us. We can still fit some vendors because like I said, this hall is big. So contact us and um, mark your calendars June 11th through the 13th. All right. You can bring your husbands, your kids, your everything. It's for all. Oh, there will be a train display too. a really cool train display. So bring your kids. They want to see that. That will be on the craft side. All right. With that said, said between those two amazing events we are gonna um, take it over to Terry and we're gonna do a lot of the giveaways we still have three more during the second round so don't you go anywhere Terry I'm so excited that you joined us that hello hello how are you today can okay well my name is Terry and I am my business is called The Chalking Crow. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And I know not a lot of people have heard about Chalk Couture, but I'm gonna do a quick demo for you so you know all about it. It is a new company, been around for about three years now. So um, really fun and exciting. If you um, love crafts, love DIY, then I am your person. Before I get started, I want to share with you my info. Um, Business name, I can be found on Facebook, The Chalking Crow, my phone number, and my email, chalkingcrow at gmail.com. Take a screenshot of that, and I'll show that one more time before I'm done. So I like to tell people, I'm an avid crafter. My mom owned a ceramic shop when I was growing up in Southern California. Um, I started off scrapbooking. And my kids grew up, and so I naturally transitioned over to Chalk Couture. I like to tell people I decorate halls and walls. I have all sorts of fun things that I decorate, and I decorate using a really unique product that is called Chalkology Paste. It is a washable, non-toxic non um, paste that is similar to paint, but it is different. It's different in that, um, one, it's non-toxic, Two, it dries in about three or four minutes. And four, the unique thing is it is washable because it is a chalk material. So think of it as like on a chalkboard. I've already done a project earlier on our board and base. I chalked this er earlier. Like I said, it goes on wet like paint, dries completely hard where I can wipe it. Um, and this board and base is unique because it um, can go horizontal or vertical. So I've already done this for you, but I want to do a demo while you're live with me. Um, so our Chalkology paste come in all sorts of colors. These are not even half my colors. I have a rainbow wall of colors over here. So to decorate my board and base, I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna decorate for you a saying that says life is good. So our, the other unique thing that Chalk Couture, about Chalk Couture is they are transfers. They come off like stickers. They are very different than stencils in that they come as a sticker almost. So you don't need to use tape. The other really unique thing is unlike a stencil is I can't poke my finger through the, the hollow part. That is a very, very fine mesh, silk screen mesh. Um, that is what makes, that's kind of like the bread and butter to Chalk Couture, the Chalkology paste and the silk screen transfers. So I put this on my surface. Again, I don't need any tape. It comes off sticky. So it adheres to the surface so I won't get any smudging, mudging, budging, wiggling. And I put that down. And then our Chalkology paste is just creamy and dreamy, just like yogurt or sour cream. I take a squeegee 
which is rubbery, just kind of like um, a squeegee that you would clean your glass windows with or your car windshield wiper. You get a handful of paste on your squeegee. And I'm gonna hold this up a little closer to the camera just so you get a better view. Um, and you take the paste, you start at the top and you just pull it down, just wiping it down as if you are cleaning a, um, a window or like I said, um, your glass shower door and I'm just dragging it down. Now I'm gonna turn this to me for a second just so I can see what I'm doing and not. And I'm gonna go from the bottom, pull it up towards the center, make sure I got every section, just kind of swiping it on there, smoothing it over. I saw I missed one or two spots, so I'm gonna lay my squeegee back down and I'm gonna come back over the other direction. And I'm literally just starting from the side and coming across. And then what I'm doing when I'm all done getting the Chalkology paste in that silk screen mesh, um, I go back over it one more time and I pick up the excess paste. And then what I do is you don't want to wipe, wash that down the drain, that's wasteful, you just put it back in your jar. And what I love to tell people is a little dabble do ya. So I have my paste that I've swiped on here and this is where the magic happens. This is called the peel and reveal. And I'm literally just gonna take the corner of this transfer and I am going to peel this up and voila, look at that magic. You see that? Perfect. Isn't that beautiful and easy and pe easy peasy lemon squeezy? Our transfers are, I have to go and wash this. I don't have a washroom in my craft room, but what I do is I just lay this on the backer sheet, set this aside, and then when I'm done here, I'll take that into my sink and I'll wash it under running water. And that transfer will be used a dozen times over and over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back in my board and base and it's ready to display on the counter, on in the bathroom, on the bedroom dresser, wherever you wanna decorate your house, it is ready to go. I've also done um, that same exact thing on a pallet board, which is wood. So we can chalk on wood. We can also chalk on fabric. And I've done a hot pad earlier today. This one says, just eat it. We have another one that says sassy kitchens that you pampered chef ladies um, in Tupperware gal um, might, might love. It's um, chop it like it's hot. You might love that for your chopper. Um, um, I, I believe um, the Tupperware leader, I believe it was the Tupperware gal selling the chopper. We have these that say chop it like it's hot. Um, we have another one that says baker's gonna bake. These are fun, sassy kitchen signs um, that can go on fabric. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick demo here on wood. I've pre put um, this um, flower, pre painted this flower. I've already started most of it, but this is a piece of wood that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to put down this um, last portion of this decoration. I have the pink that I'm going to use. I'm going to grab some pink paste. This color is called um, peony. And this is a wood board that I got, like I said, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to swipe this down. Just like we did the other board, you get some chalkology paste and you swipe it across drag it across, smooth it across, whatever sounds better to you. And you just go across. It's only going through the silk screen portion of the transfer. So I think that this is easier than coloring because you can't go outside the lines. And then again, ladies and gentlemen, you pour, pour, pull this down and voila, I have this adorable saying that says, that dream was planted in your heart for a reason. My daughter's birthday is next week, and I just made her adorable little, beautiful little girl's craft. So there is that. One other thing that we can do that makes Chalkology and Chalkatour amazing is you can craft on wood, glass, ceramic. I showed you fabric, chalkboard material, walls, 
Anything you can paint on or color on, you can chalk on. I also have a glass jar here. I have a stencil, a stencil, a transfer that I will put on the glass jar. You stick it to the jar, grab your Chalkology paste in squeegee, and you just swipe it across as if you were cleaning a car window, a shower window, or any type of window. And I'm just swiping it down. I'm going the opposite direction to pick up any excess paste. Because as you know, a little dab will do ya. Excess goes back in the jar. It's on my glass jar. And then I am going to peel and reveal. This is where the magic is. I have to be careful on glass because it does tend to want to stick a little harder. So just going slow to pull this transfer off. And I'll pull it up, I'll hold it up for you in one second. Just get rid of that transfer over there. And I'll wash these. And if you can see, I just chalked on a jar, um, a glass jar. And that says love lives here. And I bet you probably can't see that because of the um, glass. So I'll put that better. Can you see that better? Love lives here. And you can decorate anything in your home. You can decorate halls and walls plates, hot pads, you name it, you can do it. And once again, well, I'll hold this up so you can take a screenshot. Chalking Crow. I'm on Facebook. And my information's there. And on round two, I have a surprise that I'm going to show you. So I can't wait to see you in a few minutes. Thank you. That was so cool. I wish I was more creative. Unfortunately, I'm not. But this really sounds sounds like fun and sounds easy to do. So that is totally super cool. Mm -hmm. um, I think I mentioned to you before that we had Chuck do at our shows before. Um, a nice group of them. and But I never had time to actually see and look what they do. And I know you're far away up north. Um, we will have Chuck Couture at the show. They actually have a Vegas team. So they're going to come. They'll be on the uh, home show side. But I hope that down the road that if you ever are in Vegas um, doing our shows, so please let us know. And then hopefully we can get you in as well. But I love how you come online with us and do these demonstrations because that way people see how easy it is actually to do some crafting. And yeah. Jacques Couture provides all the stuff that you need for that. So that makes it. Yeah, and what I love about it is you don't have to be crafty because it's here for you. You just have to know how to use a squeegee. Right, no, it's- So it's you could do this, Susie. <laughs> I could. I just don't have time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Too many shows to prepare for. So yeah. great job, Terry. Really love it. And we'll see you in the next round. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a surprise in round two. Sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. I really love that. That And that was so cool when she put the paper in the glass, how how you could have, whoa, it was like, I love. You could totally see it. All right. Our next giveaway is you type in in person May 29 at Parkway Tavern on Marks Street. We gotta add that because there's many of them. In person, May 29 at Parkway Tavern on Marks Street. Or you can copy it from here. Parkway Tavern Marks, see how it's written there? You don't even have to write out the whole word. So that will be the next giveaway. And we will do, um, we have two more coming up. So super exciting. What do you think so far? Did you like the uh, mac and cheese salad or how about those pancakes? Didn't they look delicious? I am so hungry. I had only a, I'm, uh, I have to uh, admit, I had a teeny tiny mini bundlet for breakfast. It's like this little, that was a take home from Haley's graduation party yesterday. And um, they're so delicious too. Um, so that was my breakfast. I never got to have my real breakfast because after walking Mac, I had to come and be with you guys. So 
And I'm glad I did because this is really enlightening. You know, Teresa always gives us some great tips in regards to the nails. Uh, Santa has always some great ideas. He really wants to make sure that the community is involved all year long. It doesn't have to be just Christmas, you know, whether it's Easter, Mother's Day or Father's Day. I think it's cool that he has these virtual ideas for those people that still can't be together or that are far apart on, on the other side of the country or even out of the country, like in some instances. Says. And then, of course, Sherry and my, uh, uh, Cheryl and Michael, they have always some amazing stuff. They add more and more. Now, let me give you a rundown. April will be at the Saturday event with Tupperware, uh, with Tupperware, with Pampered Chef. Why do I keep doing that? I'm sorry. Oh, I suck. With Pampered Chef. April will be there with Pampered Chef. There will be no Tupperware on Saturday. There will only be Pampered Chef. Good. Hopefully I made up for that. Now, Cheryl and Mikey will be at the June show. Super excited about that. So you get to see them in full bloom. Um, Teresa will be at the June show on the home side. And that's it for these guys, I think. Because Lynn will be out of town and Terry is up north and Santa is at the North Pole. Yep, that's it. So... Let's move on to round two. So let me bring back April with Pampered Chef, amazing pancakes. Come on back, April. Let's see what the secret is. I'm curious. You need to unmute yourself. How about now? Can you hear me? All right. And you know what, Susie? We're human, and I think it's just a sign that you do need to eat. So come on over. <laughs> and welcome back to round two. I'm going to show you a few of the things that we uh, used in round one, in case you're catching this on the replay. OK, so we uh, made some pancakes. We made some eggs. And we used the electric grill and griddle, which now um, I have in a different position. It has three different cooking positions. And it just has a lever here. And so we have it in the flat position, but it does come all the way to a closed position. And one of the things that I love, if you're someone that either doesn't know how to cook or is very busy and needs something that does all of you know the work for you, this comes with pre-programmed uh, settings. And one of my favorite settings is the probe setting, okay? I think at making chicken breast, they come out dry, no one wants to eat it, but we have to because there's no other option. So this came with a probe and has saved my life. You're gonna put this right into the electric grill. You'll turn the knob to put probe and it comes with a cooking guide. The book uh, that comes with this will tell you exactly which temperature to select for chicken, uh, which temperature to check or select for uh, medium rare steak. And it comes out perfectly. You're like a gourmet chef. You don't have to know a thing other than how to push a button, okay? Then also we made, as Susie said, we made some pancakes, which have been staying warm right here in my tortilla warmer. So come on over, Susie, they're still nice and warm. And I said, that there was something special in this pancake batter. And what it is, it is one of our enrichables. We have three options. So it's just enriching the food you're going to eat anyway, okay? I have a young one, he eats nothing but um, mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. So we're always trying to find ways to sneak in different things into his food and really kind of amp up the nutrition and the food. So in these pancakes, I put in our pea protein to help just keep, you know, fill full longer, more protein into his day. We have a kill and fiber one. It could go inside a smoothie, would be delicious in that. We have a super veggie. You could put that right in the spaghetti sauce. That's where we sneak it in for him. And as a giveaway for our LV Craft Show viewers, when you book your show, you can select the pea protein, the super veggie, or the kale and fiber for free. So put in the comments below which one that you would choose. Which one do you need in your life? More protein, more kale and fiber, or more veggies? And put that in there. And 
I just wanted to share another giveaway and you'll see this on the link, okay? Which I'll put up at the end, but also for our LB Craft Show viewers, what I'm giving away is a ceramic egg cooker. So imagine it's during the week, you're super busy, you've got about two minutes and you're about to head out the door, but you can't get breakfast. So I put in here two eggs, the pre-diced up ham, some shredded cheese, and I popped it in the microwave for a minute and a half. And I stirred it in between, and I'm gonna pour it out onto this plate here. And you have breakfast. You can certainly make different kind of egg combos. So like if you um, do the veggies, you could do your bell peppers, mushrooms, that's delicious. Um, but probably our favorite thing to make in here has nothing to do with breakfast. Well, I guess it could be for breakfast. Chocolate cake, right? You could start the day with some chocolate cake. And so again, this is two eggs and about a minute and a half. And you just have scrambled eggs right there, done. And hopefully you can see it's so steaming. I made that while the you know chocolate tour was getting done. I said, oh, I'm getting hungry. I need some eggs. So we got that there. So again, to wrap up on some of the giveaways, we've got the enrichable for when you book your show. Comment below which one you want, the pea protein, kale and fiber, super veggie. And then also the ceramic egg cooker. When you book a show in June, that will be for free for you as well. So make sure you click on the link here. I don't know if you can see that but um, it is gonna be in the comments as well. And when you visit that special link, there is an ordering link there for LV Craft Show viewers. You're gonna get a discount. And again, if you book your show in June, you'll also get the ceramic egg cooker for free. Here's the discount that's up for grabs. Share the link, share the love. Let's get the discount up to 25%. All right, thanks Susie. Awesome job, really awesome job. That looks delicious and looks really easy to go. It's really amazing. And I'm glad we did this because when we just talk about it, it's one thing, but when people actually see how easy it is to use these products, it makes a whole different uh, story. I have the, um, um, the meat thermometer thing, that probe thing that you can use for all kinds of stuff. Um, the most recent one, I actually had one from like 20 years ago with the long, it looks like the same that you had. Um, but after 20 years, it finally gave out on me. It just wouldn't recognize the temperature anymore. So I bought the most current one and it's actually really cool because I use it in a frying pan really quick if needed to poke it in to see that the meat is indeed done because I don't trust my judgment on it otherwise. So, but yeah, that, that grill that you have there in front of you, that looks really, really cool. Um, oh, needs to go, may need to go to my Pampered Chef collection. I think 60% of my kitchen or 70, no, 60, 70 might be Pampered Chef. And then I use a lot of the other stuff too, but, but great job, April, really, really great job. So we will see you Saturday in Henderson at Parkway Tavern. Yeah parking lot from 10 to 3. Awesome job, April. Yeah. So, um, send me your address. And I'll be on my way. Good. Have you <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Having said that, we have another giveaway. Um, we're going to say this. I would like to win the Daddy and Donut Prize. I would like to win the Daddy and Donut Prize. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to watch the replay and you need to stick around and watch when he's coming back, which is soon. So next in the lineup, we have Cheryl and Mikey back, possibly with Potat or without. So come on back. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. No Potop, we're doing another laser burn and it's an hour long burn, so he has to stay out of the room. He's very mad about that too on my end. He is very mm -hmm. mad. Not so, happy dog. Let me show the sign. Here's our info. Please take a screenshot. And please check out the new Shopify store. That's Girl. my main store that I'm working on. So Etsy's there, but I'm not posting to it. So just stick with Shopify. 
All right. Okay, and let me show you what we're doing. We did the other burn. Hold on, we got a camera switch. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians Thank or equipment. You. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I did it. Okay, so this is what we're working on. It's got at least another 20 minutes and you know what it looks like. I will post this on the page after it's done because it's going to finish long after this show is over. And um, if Susie wants to make a prize for it, contest for it, I'll be happy to uh, run this as a prize after the fact once we get it done sealed and everything, okay? And so that's what we're doing. We hope you have a great day. We will see you at uh, the June Expo and we will be attending at uh, the Parkway Theater on the 29th. So make sure you watch those hours because they weren't as late as I thought they were. So get your tickets now and don't forget your free 50% off food coupon. Or is it buy one, get one free? I don't know, I haven't looked at it. Okay, Susie, back to you. Bye. Bye. Wait a minute, you're giving away this kitchen sign? Is that what you sure. said? <laughs> sure. Wow, that is amazing. Of course, we'll do so it. You can, you can come up with some kind of contest for that. Um, we have to seal it first after it's done, of course, but uh, we can do this as a giveaway after the fact, and uh, I will be posting it on the page here for you. That sounds good. We'll, I, will, I will think of something really quick. Um, okay, brain, wake up, help. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can wing it, you know, <laughs> it won't be done for another 30, 40 minutes. So yeah, lots of time. Thank you guys. Great job. Great job. Thank you. All right. Uh, actually, April, come on back. You forgot to show your, um, the scraper. You still there? Did I lose her? April, can you come back and show us the scraper giveaway? Can you hear me? Awesome. Okay, so I am giving away a skinny scraper and it is actually right here. <laughs> this is where, uh, now you know where my giveaway stash is. <laughs> so this is um, the skinny, skinny scraper. It's part of the scraper uh, family from Tampered Chef. It is very heat resistant, stain resistant, doesn't crack. Here's one that I used today. It's covered in egg. And um, this one is 10 years old. Look how beautiful it is. So I hope you win it. Awesome. Totally appreciate that. Love that. And you know, I found that last show that you did for the first time that these scrapers are heat, heat resistant. I did not know that. I'm always afraid to, to use it. And now I use it in uh, while cooking. I actually like how, how they move things around. So um, again, I feel like I'm learning stuff at these virtual events all year long. Since April of last year, we have been doing these virtual events and I have learned so much about our crafters, about our vendors, about businesses and about products that I've had for many many years and didn't even know how to use them correctly so there you have it uh, we might do it my friend and i we might do a party together we'll see i'll talk to you about that all right so okay. um let's move on to our next um oh i put this in we'll do we have santa come back and then we'll talk another giveaway i have to come up with something really quick <laughs> all right come on back santa oh, oh, oh it's santa Live at the North Pole again. Here's our information. It's Daddy and Me Donut Time with our phone number. It's 702-581-6440. And our website at santa01.com forward slash Father's Day dash virtual visit. That's where you can go and book your Daddy and Me Donut Time and Santa is going to come back here and be live with you again, right there. And now I'm also still going to show you what we're going to give away for everybody that books a virtual visit. You'll be put into a drawing on a weekly basis to win a Tupperware set of tongs. These are great. They have a fork and a spatula. The spatula has a hole in it so that you can strain things.
but these are great for daddy for barbecuing and when he's not using them maybe he'll let mommy use them but these are for daddy for barbecuing and these are very 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 important to use because they do come apart and they come apart like that so there's two separate pieces so all you need to remember is to book your event at santa01.com go to virtual visit father's day and we will then book it and get you all set to have these tongs be entered in a prize for you on a weekly basis we're giving away one set of tongs on a weekly basis for whoever books an event that weekend or that week so please remember see santa01.com virtual visit and go to father's day virtual visit and book your event i know it's a month out but this is the time to start booking and getting your event Oh, and you will also get an e-card for your donuts. That didn't work too well. Anyhow, there is an e there it is, an e-card for your donuts. So you will be emailed that e-card for your donuts. As you can see, it's a popular donut emporium, and we will guarantee you'll be able to get your e-card in your email along with a copy of your ticket to win your tongs from Tupperware. Ho, 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 it's Santa live from the North Pole. It's back to Susie. You just like playing with those tongs, taking them apart, putting them back together. They look really, really cool. I really should get those. Um, of course, I keep saying that, uh, um, considering that I have been trying to get a barbecue grill in my yard for the last year and a half, and I almost, you know, bought it and then didn't because of the pandemic, trying to save money and all. Um, but now seeing all this food and all these options and Father's Day coming and those tongues, now I feel like I need to get this barbecue grill and the tongues and toss out whatever non-brand stuff I used for the barbecue before. Actually, I do have Pampered Chef barbecue stuff, but I also have some non-brand stuff that I, I won somewhere or something, and you can tell the difference in quality. But I don't have those tongues yet, so there you yeah, go. You can, you, can get these from our next, you can get these from our next presenter as well. But I'm giving them away one pair every week for whoever decides to book a virtual visit with Santa at Daddy and Me Donut Time, you'll be registered for a weekly drawing. Okay, Susie, it's back to you. I totally love the idea of the Daddy and Me. I mean, if you have like a, a, a toddler at home or four or five, six year old, whatever, I think it would be so cool, you know, to have them be with Daddy together and do this this little thing. I think that is such a sweet idea. I don't have children, unfortunately, so um, I mean, we could use my dog, but possibly he he was talking to you earlier as you heard yes he was he, he was going on as, as i was having a full conversation with him until he became very comfortable and decided to spread it all yeah he rolled on his back and everything you guys missed it that was before we started the show he was just putting on a show for our presenters there i wish you guys could have seen it i think we took one picture where he's sitting in front of my screen and um i will share that later but yeah he was he was fun he had a santa conversa conversation i said something and then he started sitting like I'll be good. I'm a good dog. <laughs> he showed off for Santa. All right, let's take it over to Lynn before we do another giveaway. Lynn, come on in. That rhymes. Hello, everybody. Hey, one thing that I um, do when I'm at the vendor events that I don't get to bring because they do take up a lot of space, and that's our modular makes that go in your pantry, they go in your closet, you know, in the cupboard or wherever you store your foods. And I do a lot of pantry makeovers. And so now as things are, you know, lightening up and I can get out and come to your home, if you're here in the Las Vegas area, or if you're in Washington state, I can schedule that to come to your home. I don't charge for that service. And I will tell you how many modular mates that you need for your pantry. 
and you can either buy them all together or you can buy them one at a time, however you want to do that. But this is real world. So when you come home and you have all this food sitting on your shelf and it gets buried, I'm going to show you very, very quickly how to put them into the modular maze. So as you can see, this is work, real world. These are my husband's raisins, his chocolate covered raisins. I don't need this container. Then he has this other container of raisinets. He'll never know that I mixed them together. So I'm gonna dump those in. So that one's done. One's done. Then I'm gonna take his candy, his favorite candy is all these Jolly Ranchers. And so I'm going to take those. I'm going to dump that candy in there. You can see how this is going to take up less space, keep my counter clean, keep the shelf clean. Nothing's going to get buried. And then he can just pick, you know, a couple out of time, put them in his pocket, whatever, instead of all the candy. So those are done. So let me put the seal on this one. And then I have this one, which is all of the white chocolate, you know, for making cookies. Because if anybody has seen my husband make his cooking class, that he does because I always tell him he's a fat man in a skinny body because he eats sugar constantly. So now I have those, that's my white chocolate chips. Put that top on, this one's not on. And I have cream de mint chocolate chips and I'm like, okay, these don't need to be here. There's, too, there's just too much. So then I'm gonna pour those pieces into this one. So that's gonna be, it's kind of like domin or Legos for ladies or Legos for men. Do you see how they all stack nice and neat together? Then I have the sugar one. And instead of having these big packages of sugar, I just pour that in. In. The next one Susie's going to like, and I don't know if she buys them for her dogs or not, but my dogs think it's crap because they, as soon as I walk into the pantry, they are all over because they know what the treat is going to be. So my last one is these. I don't know if anybody ever buys these, but they are 100% dried beef lung tips. They're very inexpensive. I buy them at the pet shop off of the Valley Verde. There's a McDonald's out front and a Smith's grocery store, but there's a pet shop in there. And so that's now all put in nice and neat. But you can see how this just cleaned up instead of having all this paper and packages. My counter is now clean. My area is gonna be clean in my pantry. So if you would like to have a makeover or just that little bit of help, I went into one house that had, mod or had uh, chocolate chips. She had 26 packs of chocolate chips. I said, do you bake a lot? She goes, no. I just forget that I have them. Well, if they were all in a modular mate labeled with chocolate chips, she would see right there what they were. So you can see I have all this garbage now that can go into the recycle and things are nice and neat. How do you label then? Can you just write on it with a Sharpie if you want it permanent or do you have well, a specific suggestion if you change things out from time to time? Could do it that way. I have a label machine, you know, just a little labeler that just puts a little tiny thing that says sugar. Or you can also have a bigger, fancier label 
that says sugar. I buy them off of the fancy ones come from Amazon. They come like five sheets for like $12 of all your pantry items. And so you, they're just peel and stick the label right on. And so, they stay on when you wash them? They stay on when I wash them. They just, I mean, I would have to really scrape the sugar one off. To be honest, you just wanted to get your pantry cleanup done during the show. That's why you did this. <laughs> but you can see how easy that was you know, to stack those. Are you yeah. going to take them all with you on your trip to Washington? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So Lynn actually extended her stay in Vegas. She was supposed to leave like weeks ago and then she something came up, then she stayed. She ended up doing GBR still. Then she was supposed to leave again, but then I talked her into doing this demo show since I know she's the queen of demonstrations. Then she thought it was yesterday. They were actually supposed to leave um, last week, I guess, again, and then possibly yesterday and then today. And um, so now she's leaving tomorrow. So thank you for sticking around. I also wanted to thank everybody who was part of uh, the Tupperware party that we did for Robin um, and myself, or well, mainly for Robin, really. Um, I think it was like uh, around $1,500. She got like $200. $40 worth or $450 worth, $250 worth of free stuff and some half price items and stuff. So a great, great success. It will be perfect um, for her mom's home in Florida, uh, because as mentioned, you know, there is uh, little critters walking around and I love how she seals them all up with the sugar and stuff because it keeps the ants out too. So, um, so, but I want to say thank you to everybody that was part of that. So, and thank you to Lynn for being an excellent host as we did it all on Facebook. We didn't even do it in person. And it was fun. She played games there. We did it over like a week or so. I, I, I asked to extend it to a week. And it was just great. So um, you can do the same with Lynn or you can do something like that with April for Pampered Chef. So do these parties. You can get lots of free stuff. All right. So thank you uh, both. Let's move it to the next giveaway. So Lynn can start packing up and get on the road. <laughs> Next giveaway we're gonna do. So remember, Cheryl and Mikey said they're gonna give away um, that wood sign. We're gonna type in Christmas in July at Mount Charleston on 725. Yes, we will be having in another event. It's indoor and outdoor Christmas in July with Santa. It will be at Mount Charleston on the retreat on Charleston Peak, uh, at the retreat on Charleston Peak on Carl Canyon Road. And it will be on July 25th. So Christmas in July on Mount at Mount Charleston on 725. Type that in and then you will be entered to win that beautiful wood board that Cheryl and Mikey created. And don't run away, we still have one more giveaway and hint, hint, it has to do with the June show. So Teresa, come on back. Hello, I'm back. First, I wanna show you, my nails are all done. And look, this nail is not a pretty nail. Look how short it is, but it looks pretty and it doesn't look like I don't have much of a nail when you decorate it. So easy and quick and pretty. And then this is the nail that I repaired. Nope. You can't even see where it was repaired right there. How cool is that? So now I got all my nails done, ready for Memorial Day. And I want to show you all of our other patriotic sets. This is called Flag Time Gal. It is item number one. I've got one of these left. It's silver and flags. This one, Flag Your It. It's kind of more subtle whitewashed flag pattern. This is number two. This is, both of those, one and two, were from last year. So I've only got a couple of these left. This is the new one this year. This one is available on my website, or I have it in stock. It is a flag pattern called Glitz and Glory, and the glitter is silver. Very, very festive. This, American Dream, this is the one I'm wearing. 
the glitter is white. This one is kind of not really patriotic, but part of the Americana set. Good old American blue jeans. This looks really cute on toes. So I posted in my Facebook group this morning. So I encourage you, join my VIP group. I'll put a link in the comments. Then this one is called Bandana Republic. And every place you see white here is actually clear. This is a clear overlay that you could put on over top of other colors. And here's an example of what it looks like on top of other colors. You got dark blue, light blue, white. You can put white behind it. You can put yellow behind it. You can put red behind it. You can really dress it up and make it any way you want. So that's our Americana collection. I do have them available. They are $13 a piece, except the bandana one is only 11. All of our clear overlays are only 11. They are buy three, get one free. And I will put my link in the comments. Oh, and I wanna show you, this is my giveaway today, it is a manicure set. It's got a little flip-flop shaped manicure set with clippers and scissors and tweezers and cuticle brush and a um, like a heel scraper and some samples of color street and a pair of earrings and a little um, nail brush so this is my giveaway for today and here is my information again you see it And I also posted in the comments. And I will be at the June 11th event. I can't do Memorial Day because we're out of town. And besides, outdoors in the heat is not good for my nail strips. They get tacky. So you always want to use them at room temperature. They don't like the heat and they don't like the cold. So at room temperature is the best. So thank you again, Susie. I look forward to it. And I can't wait to see everybody in June. Sounds good. And I hope you have a wonderful trip. And thank you for the giveaway. All right. Um, yes, we have one more giveaway coming up. So we will be at the World Market Center Las Vegas. So type into the feed June 11 to 13 at World Market Center Las Vegas. Just that. June 11 to 13 at World Market Center Las Vegas. I could have said we will be at, but I didn't want you to have to work too hard typing all these letters. Well, actually, I know some of you are just, uh, we will be at June 11th. Uh, we, we, will be, we will be June 11th to the 13th at World Market Center Las Vegas. I know some of you are just punching it into the sound thing on your phone. I do that too. So that makes it seven giveaways. Presenters, please find the post I posted earlier. I gave it the link earlier. Post your, your information on there. Um, we will add Cheryl's picture there later today and also post it in the feed. And if you guys want to look back at what they're winning. So um, there was a couple of prizes and um, we're going to Terry in a second um, that we're adding that are not presenting today. Um, Mary Lou from Out of the Ordinary um, was kind enough to donate a beautiful uh, of her paintings, one of her beautiful paintings. That would be one of the prizes. And then Megan from the Cactus Teal Club, she's donating a $30 gift card that you can use towards her amazing kid clothes collection. So thank you both for donating to the show, even though you're not in the show. We do appreciate your, your generosity. So, and then you have, oh, and then not to forget, Venti donated a $25 gift card for her LipSense products. So you have some amazing prizes coming up in addition to the ones mentioned already. And um, Terry, why don't you come on in now? Here we go. Okay, hello again. Um, wanted to <clears throat> wrap up with telling you about um, this fun um, um, patriotic collection that we have. We have fun shapes. And one of the shapes that we have here are our stars. These stars are made of wood, they're reversible. They come in a pack of three. Whoops, dropping stuff here. Um, pack of three. And I decorated them really fun with some patriotic um, decor, craft, 
other side you could decorate as well. So those are really fun stars come in a pack of three. Um, everything patriotic, stars and stripes forever. So that is super popular right now. I wanted to share with everybody with um, Memorial weekend coming up and then right around the corner we have 4th of July. So wanted to share that if you are interested in you love 4th of July like I do and you love to decorate, that is great. Um, a great um, option that we have on the website. But um, one of the things I wanted to share with you as I wrap up and um, you know, I decorated this just a few moments ago um, on the first round. Life is good, it's already dry, but the really fun and unique thing about Chalk Couture and why I love it so much is I decorated this for you and I did Life is Good, but perhaps um, you have a birthday or Christmas or anniversary or you wanna put stars and stripes on there for your Memorial Day barbecue or something fun. I just misted water on this. I took our um, board eraser, which we carry in the shop, which is like $1.99 for a pack of two. It's kind of like a magic, uh, magic eraser. It's like sponge-like. Spritz some water on here and I am going to take this and erase it in front of you, spritz it one more time, use a paper towel to get the wetness off. I'm gonna spritz. And I am going to wipe this. I'm going to dry it. And there you have it a brand new clean surface to start with. That is what is super amazing about Chalk Couture. You can decorate for Christmas, erase it, decorate for Valentine's, erase it, decorate for 4th of July, erase it. So one surface can be utilized over and over again. That is our Chalk Couture um, chalkboard surface surfaces and they come in lots of sizes. Now, I did show you earlier the glass jar that I decorated. Same thing applies there. I can spritz water on that, take a paper towel, and redecorate the jar that I did. Um, I did wood here. Ladies, um, Pampered Chef and Tupperware ladies, I don't know if you caught this, but this says that make yourself at home, clean my kitchen. I did this on a board surface. Now, I'm sorry, wood is porous, so I wouldn't be able to wipe this off, but I could paint over and reuse the surface. So that is something that is super fun and super unique about Chalk Couture is that it goes on wet like paint, but it wipes off like chalk on our chalkboard surfaces. Um, I do craft parties where you make and take these. Um, I'm in Reno, so I don't know where the viewers are, but I do make and take ladies night parties. Um, I have a website where you can purchase and we have try me kits that come this size where the, it comes with the board. It comes with the squeegee that you would need. It comes with a sample of the paste packet and everything that you need. So if you are interested in giving this a try, please comment on the page and I can send you a, tr you can order a try me kit and they're right around $20. And again, you're buying one surface that can be used over and over again. So for around $20, you can't beat that to decorate one surface for numerous events. And that's what I have for everybody. And just to remind you, please visit my Facebook page, Chalking Crow, I'm on Facebook, my phone number in my email, Feel free to take a screenshot of that. And I can even um, send out small samples if you are interested in doing just a small sample. And the small samples would be something, um, well, I don't have one in front of me, but they would be a small um, little try me sample like this size. So would love to have you comment, visit my, my Facebook page and get to crafting. 
I love it. I think that is a wonderful, wonderful idea. All right. Great job and great presentation. This is really, really cool. I learned so much about this now and I think a lot of the viewers did as well. So thank you, Terry. And if you're ever in Vegas and want to do some of our shows, be sure you hook up with us. Okay. For sure. For sure. All right, great job. All right, let me bring everybody back on the screen. So one, two, three, you're live on the screen. So I know uh, Lynn was cleaning her kitchen in the meantime because she's taking off soon, I saw that. Um, I think this was really enlightening and totally fun to see all these different presentations. It was a great variety of products. Love all the giveaways. Thank you all so much for the support. We have some more um, virtual events coming up. We have one coming up this Wednesday night at 6.30, which will be a Memorial Day themed. It will be crafts and gifts and Memorial Day uh, um, decor. And then um, Saturday, we will be at the Henderson Parkway Tavern on Mark Street for our craft and gift bazaar. We really hope you all come out. And then uh, after that, our next one is in June. I think it's June 5th for the next virtual. So check the schedule. If you guys want to be a presenter on there, you can live anywhere in the country or anywhere where you can access internet and can uh, make sure you get the products to our customers, then by all means, join us. It's free for those our VIPs or those that signed up for any of our upcoming events. And it's uh, just just a small fee for those that are not. So it's really, really easy. And you never know what comes out of it. Our vendors have done pretty, pretty well over the last year. So that's why they keep coming back for more. All right, you guys. Um, I love how we see Cheryl and Mikey's thing still going there. Um, if you missed part of it, watch the replay to see some amazing presentations and all the giveaways you have until Tuesday, 4 p.m. And please, presenters and viewers, like this post. Put a like or a heart on there and that will enter the chances to win too. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Sunday. We will see you Wednesday night at 6.30 and then in person on Saturday, May 29th, 10 to 3 in Henderson, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa knows what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Made a fresh batch for you, Susie. <laughs> oh, yummy. She really wants me to come over.